Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute mug and coaster gift set, which will make a perfect Christmas gift. And if you like projects like this, I encourage you to check out the DIY Christmas Crafts course at Curious.com. They're our sponsor today. The cool thing about Curious.com is that you can give the gift of learning. So if your brother wants to learn how to play blues guitar, or your sister wants to learn how to cook, or your aunt wants to learn how to speak French, you can find all of those courses at Curious.com and you can give the gift of learning. It doesn't clutter up anybody's closets and it's always a perfect fit. Make sure you check the video description for a link to Curious.com as well as any specials they have going on right now. So let's go to the table and I'll show you how to make these. These mugs are the perfect teacher's gift or a gift for a neighbor or a relative. They're great because the kids can make them themselves and they're super inexpensive and I think they're lovely. Imagine them filled with candies or cocoa packets or something. Totally adorable. And to just add a little something, the hand painted coasters are inexpensive. They're 10 cents a piece at the hardware store and um, they're just a really nice matching gift. Now you'll need to wipe down your mugs and your coasters with rubbing alcohol before you begin. That will remove any debris, any fingerprints, any dust to make sure the paint adheres really well. The paint I'm using is Folk Art Enamels. It is a um, glass paint that is very durable. It can go in the dishwasher or be hand washed and it is non-toxic. However, you don't want to paint right up next to the lip of the mug. You don't want to paint anywhere that your mouth or your food will come in contact with. You just need to put a couple pea-sized drops of paint on your palette and that will be plenty to do four mugs and four coasters. It doesn't take a lot for this project. I picked up my mug at the dollar store. Um, you can find them very easily. You can even probably find them at any department store. Just try to find something light colored and plain. Although the folk art enamels are opaque and they will show up on a darker mug. I think the white is kind of a nice classic idea. The stickers I made by cutting shapes out of contact paper because it's not too sticky. But if you want, you you could go right ahead and buy some Christmas tree stickers. Just stick them down to your sweater or your um, t-shirt or something before you stick them onto the mugs because uh, store-bought stickers will be a lot stickier. And just place it down on the mug wherever you like it to be. Now take a simple q-tip and dip it in the lighter of the two colors you've selected. You just want to pounce on your color around your sticker. Make sure you put more dots next to the sticker and where the edge of the sticker overlaps a mug. That way you're going to have a really bold design. You'll really be able to tell that that's a Christmas tree there. You want to uh, let the dots kind of get further apart as you get away from the tree though so you just kind of have um, that kind of blast of color. It's uh, very, very cool looking. Then go in with your darker color, doing the same thing, more dots towards the sticker, less as you get further away, and that way you'll have a nice, bold, crisp design when you finally remove that sticker. I recommend removing the sticker while the paint is still wet. That way you won't have like a tough film to, uh, to break through and really look at along those edges before you take the sticker off. Make sure that there aren't any gaps of paint. You want to make sure it's really well covered next to the sticker. That way you can have a really nice um, bold design. So here the sticker's coming off. It looks pretty good. If you notice you have any seepage or you have any messy spots like I do on the tree trunk, it kind of seeped under there. Use a little rubbing alcohol on a q-tip, a fresh clean q-tip, and you can use that to wipe away any mistake. The coasters are done exactly the same way. In fact, I can use the same sticker I used for the mugs on the coasters. You can get probably four or five uses out of each sticker, so that makes it pretty frugal. You're going to start in with the lighter color again, just like we did on the mugs, dabbing more color closer to the sticker and less as you get further away, and then go in with the darker color. You're going to want to make sure you put some felt on the back of that coaster or some thin cork pads, something so it doesn't scratch a table when it's used. And you can either air dry this paint for 21 days or you can bake it in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees but you have all that information on the bottles of paint so make sure you read the label. I want to thank Curious.com for sponsoring today's video and remind you to check out their give and get promotion where you give a class and get a class for free but that's only going on through December 18th. Check out the video description for details and links to Curious.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and as always happy crafting!